Hey everybody, welcome back to Ace Attorney Part 16. I, we, I checked it like three times just to make yeah, sure I was going to get it right. Yeah, absolutely did. He checked to make sure that it would actually work. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually the correct part. Uh, I'm Cam. I'm Kenny. We're the Bearded Gentlemen. We are or, indeed. Yeah, two parts of the Bearded Gentlemen. Two yeah. parts, yeah, two out of three. Ain't bad. That's right, just the meatloaf song. Let's do it. Oh yeah, let's talk to Gamsu. The plate. So, you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination. <laughs> <laughs> you go for it. For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave Bill Nye? a testing solution. Our Bill, science Bill, guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science, science guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, science rule. Bill, 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 Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, science is science is fucking awesome. Uh, sure is. This reacts to sleeping pills. See, if there's traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Do it up. Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Do it, do it, damn it. Uh. Huh. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So, so there, there were sleeping pills pill. on the plate. Oops. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Go to Phoenix Wright, in stereo. Uh, looks like it. Steak, Steak plate. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. How goes your investigation? <laughs> I, I read the thing. <laughs> To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. I read the thing. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. Some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. He's innocent! He's innocent, damn it! <laughs> but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mrs. J. Powers anymore. Right on, Gumshoe. You're a good guy. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Ah! Fuck. Whatever. It's only Edgeworth. Yeah, I voiced the guy and I still don't like him. <laughs> but I, I do. Love, I, I do. love Edgeworth. I do. That's what we're doing yeah. anyway. Uh, Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, <laughs> hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Come on, that couldn't have taken much. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth crushing paper cups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll crush you like this paper. I'll crush you like this paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much effort. To so crush. much effort. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Crushing paper cups. <laughs> oh, there it is. Fucking awesome. On point. Cups, bottles. Say, whatever happened to that, with that empty bottle? Sorry, I'm eating Terry's chocolate. <laughs> Oh, okay, Cam got the last one. Uh, I was about to just steal it, and I'm like, I right, no, that'd be a big douche move. Uh, oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you, but that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. Jack Hammer. Dun, dun. Cause he's dead. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dead. <laughs> dead. So, so that means. Yep, it sounds like the one who put power to sleep was none other than. The victim. My God. Mother of so God. So I was right. And mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> so we were playing this fucking card game last night, Dark Stories. And the oh, idea no. is that I, I give Cam, like, this little blurb of, of what's going on. And it's his job to, like, tell me what happened, like, ask me questions so he can figure it out. Oh, hello. And uh, what happened was, as it turns out, okay, the little blurb I gave him was, like, this woman walks into a bar, oh my God. orders a glass of water, drinks it, and then the man behind the bar pulls a gun on her and aims it directly at her, and then she says thanks and leaves. And I'm like, okay, what happened? And he's like trying to figure it out. He's like, is the gun a real gun? <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> then he writes it down in the notebook, gun is gun. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is, hmm, this is, this is, this is central. I believe. It's like, I've got a feeling in my detective gut that this is central. Gun is gun. Gun is gun. 
<laughs> ironclad. It's ironclad. So, this means something. There's like a wall with like pieces of yarn and push pins going across. And, fucking, <laughs> hmm. and then everything leads back to a picture of just a gun, like circles around it. Gun is gun. Gun is gun. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus. But as it turns out, the, the solution to it was uh, she had the hiccups. So she had the glass of water, and the bartender pulled the gun on her to scare her, and it got rid of the hiccups. So she, she said thanks and left. Yeah, it's fucking. Come on. I mean, I was getting there, but it was four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying that one for like an hour and a half. Of course, it always sucks when you're the one who knows the answer because you're just like. Ugh. Yeah, I know. It's, it's so much easier. Life is so much easier when you have the answers. Yes, it is. Anyway. Yes, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WT won't be using, or WP won't be using it anymore, so. What? What? Why? But WP is innocent. Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. <clears throat> but. This week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No. Alright, let's talk to him. Jack Hammer. I was wondering if you could, uh, if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio Two. Huh? I thought he went to Studio One. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too. What? 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 Why did Mr. Hammer do something like that? We don't oh. know. Oh my God. I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, the producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had dirt on him. He'd do anything, she, she said. They apparently. started at the five-year mark together. Hey. She's controlling him. That's gotta be it. My God. Jesus Christ. We figured it out. Now we have to go work her over. Some dirt? Now we're gonna fucking put the screws to her. That's right. What dirt? Good question. Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Blackmail. I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? What do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? Ah, um, you're tainting the investigation with your tears. <laughs> I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No. 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 Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kid shows anymore. They make hardcore porn. What? Why? Fucking <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Oh, there's something. Nah, something it's shady as fuck. Shady as fuck. Something's going on. Why aren't they going to make kid shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. Mm, somebody doesn't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. Hmm. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. Oh, that's probably true. Yeah. So not until they're much older that they're just yeah. like, man, I miss that shit. Yeah. No, they can't be true. She's that's more attached to it than the fucking kids are. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Like, no legit season finale? Yeah, that's true. They say something. Um, yeah. yeah see, Phoenix doesn't give a fuck. No, he doesn't care. He's fucking 26 yeah. years old, right? He's 24, I can't remember. <laughs> somewhere in there. Yeah, he's somewhere in the, in the not give a fuck zone. Exactly. He's in the I got bills to pay, shit to do zone. Yeah, I got rent to pay. Here, take a look at this. Um, I think we're going for... Yeah. Path of Glory? I think so. And this is... A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. 
I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Hmm. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Anything. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Yes. Oh, okay, so I guess we had to do that first anyway. Yeah, I think it w jumped into the last question we could cho choose. Okay. Yeah, if we had tried to pick it before studio policy, she probably just would have gave us some, yeah, something vague. Yeah, probably. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer wouldn't do anything, or why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. Oh, it happened anyway. Yeah, it happened anyway. I see. You know who knows more about hmm. this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Oh my god, we have to go ask that old biddy? Yep, we do. Fuck me. Thanks, sideways. we'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Even if we gotta pistol whip her all night. Yeah. We'll duct tape her to a chair and just fucking yeah. just work her over. Oh, my pistol whip really peaked the shit out of the mic because I don't have a pop filter. <laughs> uh. Oops. What? <laughs> You're still slinking around? <laughs> if you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think they made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Um. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Uh-oh. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols. Nick Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. Ah, I see what you did there, game. Oh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about that accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? With, with the snappers. <laughs> dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And the recently departed, no less. Oh, fuck. We're trying to figure out what happened, you old bitch. I suppose you think this is fun. No, no. I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume. Yeah, we have that. I got uh, proof, Miss Oldbag. Sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. <laughs> Come on, Cam. I thought we had... oh... Sleeping bottle? Yeah. Here's my proof. I'm uh, going for something else here. Yeah. Uh, you're on a different line of thought? A different line of thought. What? What's an empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills. With Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What, what does that prove? I'm, I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used those pills on powers? Nice. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? <laughs> well, yes, so. This is the plate he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping powder on that plate. Get wrecked. That's right. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldberg? Okay, you win. I'll talk. 
Okay, because we are getting ready to fucking work you over with the end of the butt end of the rifle. <laughs> I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a fic fucking picture of it. <laughs> 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 that photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the mafiosa. She silenced that paparazzi. Oh. Choo, choo. Mafiosa? It's always the mafiosa. <laughs> it's always the mafiosa. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Obey. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. A photograph. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of those stairs there, even though he's dressed for tennis. But He pushed the other actor, and the man fell onto the flower box fence. Ow. But how, how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Well. Wow. That was a lot. Hey. Might as well go back to... Well, we haven't been to Studio 2 yet, have we? No, that's what I'm trying to... Uh, we go outside Studio 1. Oh, that's From right. From there we go to Studio yeah, 2. that's right. Ugh. Uh, look who it is. Maybe she'll want to talk to us now that we have a photograph. Uh, uh, fuck. There we go. Have a look at this. She's not even looking. Where? What? Uh, what? Where did you get that? I, well... Uh, old. She means the security lady, Miss Oldbag, Nick. Right. Anyway. Miss Vasquez. You hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The... Huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. After her! We can't let her get away. Can't let her get away to the trailer with no exit. There's nope, some flowers still here. Still can't look at the thingy. Yeah, same old thing. Same old fucking dirty burge. Dirty dirge. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> you can. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez. <coughs> oh god. You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids shows for petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went well sour of its own accord. But... You were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me? What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? Mm. No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? <coughs> that is what I meant. But where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. 
Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me, now. What? This is valuable evidence. Boys. Oh shit, it's the mafiosa, I knew the it! Mafiosa! Um... Who are they? Professionals. I don't like They're where good this is at going. Various things. Oh dear. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? Hmm. I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! Hold oh. it right there! Oh shit! Fuck yeah, don't you! Columbo saves the day! I heard everything, pal! D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now! Ow, shit, I hit my elbow! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And all the excitement. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. Fucking mafioso. Fuck yeah, gumshoe. Gumshoe to the rescue. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. You're a good guy, Gumshoe. Yeah, Gumshoe's we're slowly, all right. We're slowly learning this. He's a big teddy bear. He is. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say the, that line ever since I became a detective. Life <laughs> goals. Ah, uh, life goals. Yeah, just doing my job, man. One more thing. No, just one more thing, <laughs> sir. Okay, I've got no more job to do today. i got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick, looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? No kidding. D. Vasquez. To be continued. Yes. Saving it up. Saving it up. <laughs> Fuck. Now we're back in court. Back in court. Uh, these court parts are always the most yeah, no. fun. Uh, court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Farewell, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call upon people present in Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. I had to clear my throat a little, that's why I was late on yeah, that one. I, I, I actually had a legit reason. Yeah. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Ms. D. Vasquez to the stand. Ms. D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Well, they threw her on the stand quick. No kidding. What's going on here? Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I am producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer, Studio 2. 
shit. Yeah, we're both fucking. <coughs> I know, we're both dying. I think we like, I know I only got up like two hours ago. I know. As everyone knows, yes. I just like needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Ouch. <clears throat> the, very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right, right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at noon sharp and ended at four. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later. Then we all went to Studio One. That's all. Wait. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Hmm. There's a van in Studio 2. Ah, uh, yes. I had not take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey's head toppling over. Hmm. Van. Something about, something about the time frame doesn't add up. I, I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. It's the final battle, Nick. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ah, yeah, let's rip this bitch apart. Um. Okay, that seems legit. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Right, so let me, I just gotta quickly look over. I'll take me to see this is part that I'm Okay, there's a bit about the break. Yeah. We know that's a lie. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't have What's the last time. Bit? Oh, okay. Okay, that was the last section. I think she's used to she's pretty used to being the boss. Of the mafiosa. Mafiosa. Well, yeah, yeah, might as well take a look. traditional press everything. Yep. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. Yeah, it's, it's one of those ones where the shorter the answer, the more difficult it is. Yeah, exactly. But it's just very much to the yeah. point. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. No. Mm. We know that's not true. Well, well the break oh, kind of covers break, for that. Yeah, I guess the break kind of covers. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. Ow. Oh. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. <laughs> Stop interrupting the testimony. Oh, shit. Oh, ouch. The same could be said to you, to you Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> you fucking get burned. <laughs> there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Oh. Maybe you could try remembering? No. <laughs> what the fuck off? The meeting was ended at four, and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? The judge already explained yeah. that. It means... it means just what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh, all right. Okay, and the last bit. Okay. Oh, that one's not quite the last Whoops. bit. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
just do the same yeah. fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> God damn it, Edward. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Okay, the team on stakes. That's definitely what sticks out to me. Uh, that doesn't no, work, remember? No, I know, I'm trying to. L is your shortcut. Yeah, son of a bitch. Okay. Well, let's press it first just in case it adds more to it. Okay. Do you have someone who can verify this? So? No, um, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proves she didn't eat that steak, which we do, well, Nick, find anything? No, I, I wish it didn't go into this right away, you know? Yeah. That would be, because now I have to scroll back through everything. Well, that doesn't take too long, because we could skip through it, like, fairly quickly. Yeah, I don't have that ability. Okay. Well, okay, I, I'm gonna tell you now, this is one of the, the confusing parts, because the steak plate, like, that not only covers the ones in the employee area, but it's also for the ones in the Studio 2 area, which we know had no bones on them. Really? Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of those... But it's got pictures of bones on it, and that's why I was thinking just now. I was like, oh, well, it's good, and it's, yeah. Yeah, like, you think, it's, like, you would assume... That huh. it's just the ones from the employee area, but well, it's let's not. Try presenting that and see. I got the speed lines. Ha! As I thought. The music stopped too. That's always the big. It's always the big one, yeah. You claim you ate a T-bone steak, but I say you did not. What? What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. The plate was on the table in the employee room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mmm. I see how you're supposed to think. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Got yeah. you, bitch, Miss Vasquez. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You ate the, you bone, ate the bone too. <laughs> you ate a boneless steak. You ate the bone. You ate a boneless steak. You. <laughs> you didn't eat that steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break at all. That's right. You took the steak and threw it somewhere, like the incinerator. Bam, 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 bam. I see. Bam, 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 bam. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking up Salmonella. I mean, that seems like fun, but... It seems fun, but... She was meeting with a steel samurai. Rap, 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 rap. Order! Uh, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the steel samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Rabba, rabba, rabba. Rabba, rabba, rabba. <laughs> uh, but Mr. Wright, is, isn't that a little presumptuous? Oh shit. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Oh. oh, I didn't hit a button that time. Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let's have a battle of wits, you and I. Bring it on. Any day, Vasquez. Stab you with my hair. Yep. It's pointy as fuck. <laughs> Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman, woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Couldn't. You couldn't, could you? Mm. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha. Huh. You see? 
Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Oh, shit. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? I'm right, on right, to right, you. Right, right, right. We're on to you, bitch. We are. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. Don't mean shit. It don't mean shit. I approve, Your Honor. Oops, we're running a little bit over time. Hmm. So, we can prove that that wasn't the thing in the next episode because cliffhangers. Woo! Oh! oh! Sick harmony. That was sweet. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and all that good shit. And we will see you in the next episode. Absolutely. Peace!